Hi guys, welcome back. I thought I'd better do an update today since I've been missing for a little while. I've been super busy doing uh, some crochet tutorials for my other channel. I did a troll in a, a goat pattern that I had actually promised before I started this tree. So I had to go and, and live up to my promises and then I thought I'll come back and do an update let you know I'm still alive. And I've done a few things. You can notice on the uh, wall here, I have started adding a little bit of clouds. Just little soft, white, fluffy ones. And I have done some updates inside the tree too, which I'll show you in a minute. This little tree here is not staying. I just put it there so you could see it. It's actually one of the stumps that I used for my video tutorial on how to make fake bark. So this is paper towel here. And then this is clay. So this is a little stump that I had shown in my latest video. I'll put that up at the end of this one so then you can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, I took it and turned it into this and added this little roof here. I was just playing around with some different ideas. And uh, yeah, I think I like it. I wasn't planning on keeping it, but I think I'll just add it to this little system that I've got going here and, and uh, maybe expand this up. I don't know yet, but... And then over here I have this little book sitting here because at the end of this video I want to flip through that for you. I just uh, recently got this copy. I've been waiting for years for that copy. I never could find one. So excited to show you it today. Anyway, let's get to this update with this big tree here. The first one will be this branch that I had. My very last update up with this tree, I had a little skinny branch that was going up into the ceiling. And I didn't like it so I tore it out and then added a new one. So let's check that out. So this branch isn't totally done yet. It's going to have a lot more done to it, but at least it's started. So I have to do a floor in here too. And that's a big, uh, actually a pretty big bedroom. If it's going to be a bedroom, I'm not sure yet. It might be a bathroom. <laughs> because uh, there's only one bathroom so far on this tree, in this tree. And if you look how many floors there are, I think it might need more than just one bathroom. <laughs> that's a lot of stairs to climb to get to a bathroom. Anyway, I'm going to turn on the lights. It's so bright outside, but maybe you can still see it. I put a little battery pack back here, and I added some lights here. These are these uh, string lights, and I just put them all through throughout the top floor. Let's turn them on. There we go. Quite a few more lights added up here, which is nice. And I also added a little... Uh, cubby hole here. I'm not sure what I'll put there. It might be just a closet. And I'm not sure if I'm keeping that bed in there. Like I said, it might be a bathroom. So, But I just put it in there so you can see how big it is. How big the room is, that is. And those are those little beds that I made. They look like uh, little wooden beds, but they're actually all cardboard. And I put that uh, video tutorial here on my YouTube channel. I'll put the link at the end. At the end of this video, it'll pop up on your screen if you're interested in making one. So I still have to paint. I'm not totally decided yet what's happening up here. That's why it's kind of been just left in limbo. Um, the ideas will come to me, though. And then down here, I'm not sure if I showed you, I switched out the color. This used to be brown when I started these stairs, and then I changed to green. Matches that door I put back there. I don't know if you can see it. No, I can't really see it that well. Yeah, and then I expanded this room up here. I think you saw that already. But I just uh, made a huge improvement here. And actually, I kept back here wide open because it lets the light in, if you'll notice. And you can't see it from the floor that that's open there, but it lets the light a lot of light in, which is nice. And I did show the measurements of the tree. It's four foot seven from the base of the tree. So from down here to the top of the tree. It's pretty large. And I'm not sure if I showed you the nursery. This is the mom and dad's room. And then this is going to be the nursery in here. And it leads right here. So I have to make a crib and all that fun stuff for, for a new baby mouse. And then the bathroom here got a little bit more room added. Same as this room up here. It got quite a bit added. There's about two, three inches there added on. And what else did I do? I don't think I showed you this. This, I had to work in this room so I just made a big space to work through but this is going to be all covered up and this is just going to be a window here 
that we can look into and it, it might be a pantry or it might be a little broom closet I haven't totally decided yeah so I can't wait to get back to this tree there's lots of ideas come to me most of the time in the middle of the night <laughs> anyway let's check out this book now let's flip through it I think you're gonna love it all right my friends I'm so excited I finally got my hands on my own copy Children of the Forest by Elsa Besco. This is something I've been wanting for many years, this book here. I first got one out in the library, and ever since then I've been on the hunt for my own copy, and I could never find one. I was looking on Amazon, but they have the small, or the mini editions. So if you do go looking on Amazon, make sure that you look and see what edition that you would be buying, because there is the mini edition, and that one is kind of disappointing. I like the big illustrations, that's what I buy them for. The story is awesome, but I also just love the illustrations. Anyway, um, went on Amazon one day and there was one copy left. I don't even know when they came in stock, these bigger these bigger ones. It said more on the way, so you might want to check it out. Look at this. And this is just about little people living in the forest and about their daily adventures. And they go to school. The school's taught by Mrs. Owl. It's really cute. She's up in a couple pages ahead. There's a monster. how they gather food. They also show in here uh, gathering food for little friends in the forest as well that have a hard winter. And they look after their friends and they play with their little fairies at night. Oh, this is Mrs. Owl. The kids are having their first day of school. And look at how shy they look. <laughs> so cute. And there's the classroom. All the kids are in school. It says, Mrs. Owl taught them the language of all that squeaks, swims, flies, or runs. <laughs> mm, this is beautiful here. And there's the father telling them nighttime stories. That evening, sleepy and warm, the children sat around the fire, listening to their father telling stories his father told him when he was a young boy about trolls and fairies, storms and strange cities from long ago. There's black and white illustrations as well. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that update. Uh, the gnomes are still very busy. Just sometimes we take a little bit of a break because we have so many other things going on. <laughs> but I'll be back very soon and you'll see a lot more happening. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.